Hello and welcome. Today we are going to deal with geography chapter water resources. Since we are doing something on water, why not do this lesson by the riverside? So what you are going to see next is a Shapora river which goes and meets the Arabian Sea. There it is. Behind me is the Shapora river which goes and meets the Arabian Sea. So if you have not already subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button and let's get into this class. Let's see some interesting facts and figures about water. 96.5% of the total volume of world's water is estimated to exist as oceans. Don't be too happy about it because only 2.5% is as fresh water. Let's turn our eyes towards India. India receives nearly 4% of global precipitation and ranks 133 in the world in terms of water availability per person per annum. By 2025, it is estimated that India will have absolute water scarcity. Then let's talk about water scarcity. Now, water scarcity has two parts, quantitative aspects and qualitative aspects. So let's discuss the quantitative aspects first. Basically, what is a quantitative aspect? An aspect which creates shortage of water. First point under it is growing population. You and I know that the population is increasing day by day. More the population, more food is required. That means more agricultural activities. More the agricultural activities, more a requirement of water. Second is industrialization and urbanization. Since many industries are coming up, there is necessity of water. Commercialization of agriculture. Since more and more commercial agriculture is taking place, the requirement of water is rising. Seasonal and annual precipitation. In India, the rainfall is unevenly distributed. In some parts, in Northeast India, you will have lots of rain, while in some other parts of India, such as Rajasthan, will have less amount of rain. Moving on to qualitative aspects. What decreases the quality of water? Or what degrades the quality of water? Most important point out here is pollution. Industries create pollution and also pollution from domestic waste. Now, let's look at the multi purpose river projects. During the time of Chandragupta Maurya, dams, lakes and many irrigation systems were extensively built. Evidence of sophisticated irrigation works have been found in Kalinga in Orissa, Nagarjuna Konda in Andhra Pradesh, Benur in Karnataka and Kolhapur in Maharashtra. Not only that, in the 11th century, Bhopal Lake one of the largest artificial lakes of that time was built. Let's see some more interesting things in this lesson. Let's continue. What do I mean by multipurpose river projects? I'm talking about dams. Let's see the uses of dams. Dams are very good for flood control. It supplies water. It generates electricity. And it's also a great place for fish breeding. But there must be drawbacks too, right? And what are the drawbacks? What are the negative aspects of dams? It impacts aquatic life. There is loss of biodiversity. During the construction of dams, lot of flora and fauna is lost during this process. Many villages have to be shifted from one place to the other. It also affects the fertility. It also changes the crop patterns. Multipurpose projects and large dams have also been the cause of many social movements like Narmada Bachao Andolan and the Teri Dam Andolan. It, it is very important for us to harvest water. So let's talk about rainwater harvesting. Rainwater is harvested for thousands of years. Let's see some of these techniques. In ancient times, people on hills and mountains used to have divergent channels, namely guls and kuls. In arid and semi-arid region, agricultural fields were rain-fed and were used as storage facilities. It was called as kadins in Jaisalmer and johars in Rajasthan. Rooftop rainwater harvesting. What does it mean? 
रेन वॉटर फ्रॉम द रूफ टॉप इज कलेक्टेड इन अंडरग्राउंड टैंक दिस इज कॉल्ड रेन वॉटर हार्वेस्टिंग गेंडातुर इज अ वेरी रिमोट विलेज इन मैसूर वट दे हैव डन इज टू हंड्रेड हाउस होल्ड हैव इंस्टॉल्ड सिस्टम ऑफ रेन वॉटर हार्वेस्टिंग इन फैक्ट इट इज इवन सेट दैट ट्वेंटी हाउसेस कलेक्टेड अबाउट वन लैक लीटर्स ऑफ वॉटर जस्ट बाई डूइंग रेन वॉटर हार्वेस्टिंग यू विल बी वेरी सरप्राइज टू नो दैट तमिलनाडु इज द फर्स्ट स्टेट इन इंडिया रूफ टॉप रेन वॉटर हार्वेस्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर वॉज कंपल्सरी फॉर ऑल हाउसेस अक्रॉस द स्टेट The good thing about this was there were legal provisions made for this. Anyone who defaults it or doesn't install it, they were bound to be punished. That's it for today. If these classes are helping you, hit that like button and let me know about it. And also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Links are in the description box below. There are many other interesting things happening out there. See you next time. Take care. Thank you very much.